The Open Group's a truly global organisation, not just with our members, but we have offices all over the world. And some of the things that go on in those offices are really helping take up of our standards and the participation in our activities. So, for example, in China, there's a great demand for translation of our standards. And the way we've gone about that is really quite innovative. Uh, we've got a, a very thriving, enthusiastic group of volunteers from our China membership and they volunteer to translate particular documents of interest to them and that goes then through our rigorous processes in order to be given the Open Group brand for a, a translation of our standards. In Brazil, which is another area of focus for us, We've had a number of events that have been focused on the local participants in the Open Group and generally conducted in Brazilian Portuguese but with some English as well and they've been very well attended and we've had a number of those and in Brazil we've seen a real growth in participation and membership generally since we have expanded beyond our enterprise architecture base to some of the other activities in the Open Group. India has been a great success story for the Open Group in the last few years. We've worked with the Indian government for a number of years now and two or three years ago they published a national standard called INDEA, I-N-D capital E-A, which is all about enterprise architecture and is based very, very much on our TOGAF standard. And the way they've implemented it is such that any enterprise architecture work that is done for the Indian government now needs to be done in conformance with the standard. What that means is uh, it's a great opportunity for our ecosystem of trainers and consultants and member organizations to uh, get some great business there for training and consultancy in the standard because they're already experts in TOGAF and they're required to know that. Thank you.